Welcome back to Showcase Pittsburgh. I'm your host, John Klein. Let's welcome Dr. Melinda Stevens. She is the Chief Academic Officer from Geneva College. Welcome to the show, Doc. Great to be here, John. Geneva College, close to Pittsburgh. We were just talking about this before we got started. It's in Beaver Falls. It is in Beaver Falls, which is about 35 miles northwest of Pittsburgh. What is the mission of Geneva College? Um, our mission is to be a Christ-centered academic community that uh, provides a comprehensive education to equip students for faithful and fruitful service to God and neighbor. You've undergone a lot of changes over the past couple of years with a lot of new majors and want, want to get into some of those. What are some of the specifics as we get into somebody either going to college for the first time or somebody continuing education or starting in the middle of their life to do something brand new? Where should we start? Yeah, well, um, Geneva has over 40 traditional undergraduate majors, as well as several adult and graduate programs that we offer, both in an online and classroom format. And no matter what major the student may uh, complete, they will complete a Christian core curriculum okay. that will, that's designed to prepare them to think and communicate well and to be uh, agile and adaptable in today's world. And some of the new programs that we have that we're very excited about uh, first of all is nursing. We'll be working with uh, the Community College of Beaver County to deliver a uh, partnership program, a one-to-one -one, we're calling it, where a student can complete um, both a Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Geneva College as well as an associate's degree in nursing from CCBC. What does the one-to-one -one mean? Part uh, one year here, two years here, one year right. there? Right, so they live at Geneva all four years but um, most of their coursework is done in the first year at Geneva and then in years two and three they complete their clinicals, their nursing clinicals at CCBC and then in year four they return to Geneva. It, is that something new this year that you've uh, it's joined forces? It's starting fall 2018 so oh, okay. it's a great partnership. Has Geneva had a nursing program before? Is this something new to no, Geneva? No, this is new for Geneva but not new for CCBC. They've had a nursing program for a long time. Computer information uh, obviously going to be the future of just about everything and this is big for Geneva College. Yes, we have had a computer science major for a long time uh, but new this year we have a computer information systems which really combines computer science and business. Uh, are you finding that a lot of, I don't want to say adults because there's a big age range but just non-traditional students are, are, are enrolling in some of these classes now? Well we have both uh, traditional undergraduate uh, programs as well as adult programs and our adult programs run either in the evening or uh, in a classroom setting or online uh, and we have nine majors that we offer. One of our newest is criminal justice which we're very excited about and uh, we also um, just recently added that to our undergraduate curriculum as well just a few years ago. Is, is the future going to be online? Or are we going to see classroom time? Both of my kids just graduated from college like two years ago and I'm just what they did online, I was just amazed that it seemed like 50% of their education was done online. Well, we believe that there's a place for classroom experience I would hope so. as well as an online experience. Right. For the adult students, you know, given the demands of their life right. and uh, careers and, and kids and family, online often uh, works out best. Right. But for traditional undergraduates, that's not always the case. And uh, so we offer both. And I would think, too, for traditional undergraduates, part of growing up was, you know, living with other people and learning to interact and dealing with people in, in that kind of situation. Right. I think, you know, part of college life is just undergoing that transition right. uh, from high school, becoming an adult. Right. And that's, uh, that's a really important experience to have. The aviation program is... Uh, front and center. I, I look back, if I didn't do this, I would have loved to have been a pilot. And somebody can learn to be a pilot through Geneva College now. Well, it's a partnership with CCBC again. Uh, Community College of Beaver County is very close to us, and so we have a strong relationship with them. And so CCBC offers a great aviation program. They have four tracks, aerospace management, air traffic control, professional pilot, and unmanned aerial vehicles. And through a partnership that we have with them, students can complete that program as well as get 
a business degree from Geneva or any other major, really. They can pair that up with missions or with any other independent major that they might like. Is that a four-year program, a four-year degree? It is a four-year degree, so they can get both the aviation as well as a business degree through that program. And is that time mixed again through uh, the community college and through Geneva College? Right. So the pilot, the pilot courses, the aviation courses are completed through CCVC and the rest of the program is completed through Geneva. Engineering is uh, front and center in Beaver County right now with the uh, the Shell Cracker plant coming up and I know that uh, they're going to be looking for a lot of uh, positions. Uh, engineering is something that's uh, that's big now at Geneva College too. Yeah we've had a very strong engineering program for years and um, consistently US News and World Report rates us in the top 100 for undergraduate engineering programs and we offer uh, concentrations in a wide range, we'll see if I can list them all, uh, biomedical, chemical, civil, computer, electrical, environmental, mechanical and interdisciplinary. I think I think I got them all. A little bit so, of everything. A little bit of everything. Criminal justice you mentioned before too, is that something that uh, and you said you, you've been at Geneva for a couple of years. Once the CSI show came on, and has there been a big interest in criminal justice over the past five, six, ten years? Yeah, well, criminal, criminal justice has existed long before CSI. Right, right? but it just Forensics. seems like right. with these shows that I, I've talked to more young adults, that are like, I'm going into criminal justice because of these shows that are on television. Right, right. Well, our, the focus of our program is um, we take an interdisciplinary approach, which is true for many of our programs at Geneva. Uh, we really want to build on the strengths of multiple majors together uh, to better prepare students for life after college. Right. And criminal justice is designed that way. It's an interdisciplinary major, and it really focuses on restorative justice um, as our primary focus. And so, like I said before, we have an undergraduate program in criminal justice, and we also have an adult program that's just starting, that just started up um, later, th earlier this year. You mentioned uh, the adult degree programs. Can you be a little more specific on what kind of options there are for some, uh, there's some people who maybe want a career change or a fresh start? Sure. We have um, options in criminal justice, like I mentioned, and then we have um, human services, Christian ministry leadership. We have um, aging services, child and family services, um, management, um, human resources, and public relations. I think that's the, the spread. So we have a little bit of something for everybody, I are, think. Are, you mentioned double majors or double degrees. Did I understand that correctly? Were you recommending two fields of interest combined into one? Well, um, in the traditional undergraduate program, um, students need to complete 120 credits to graduate and um, they can complete their major requirements and their core requirements and then often students have a, a bunch of credits left that they can either take as electives but okay. I, I always encourage students to package those electives together as another minor or as another major. Uh, that's really going to make them more plan um, ahead. marketable for plan, the, plan for the ahead. future, right? We have about a minute left. Uh, let's wrap up with a master's program at Geneva College. Sure. Uh, we have uh, four different master's programs. We have business administration, counseling, which is a KCREP approved program. Uh, we have a higher ed program, and we also have a master's in leadership studies, which is a fully online program. Something to think about. It would be easy yeah. to do, and it's only how far from Pittsburgh? Only 35 miles. 35 miles. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Stevens. If you'd like to know more about Geneva College, you can call them at 855-979-5563 or log on to geneva.edu. Coming up next, we'll talk to Dr. Michael S. Back to D.C. He's got some great weight loss tips for us and some good stories, too. That's on the way for Showcase Pittsburgh continues.